let's first talk about the first thing. There's no resets in crypto, okay? Just because you released a token and you didn't like how it got distributed, now you're gonna try to migrate it to a new token, the cover token. The problem with that is Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day. It's kind of nice out today. Um, Want to talk a little bit about shield farming. What is shield farming? Um, what is the concept? Where did this all evolve from? Well, this kind of all evolved out of the safe token launch. If you're not familiar with the yield farming dot insure project, there was a project where they're going to try to underwrite insurance that's on the chain for DeFi projects, right? So they launched the governance token before there was even a product, okay? And some early whales crushed the price, um, just kind of along the same game theory as a lot of these projects. And now they basically want to migrate the existing safe token to a new token called Cover, and then they're going to disassociate themselves with one of the people that basically dumped on you know, dumped on everybody. The price was 4,000 and now it's like 400 something. So let's first talk about the first thing. There's no resets in crypto, okay? Just because you released a token and you didn't like how it got distributed, now you're gonna try to migrate it to a new token, the cover token. The problem with that is there is so many existing people that have, um, you know, they have a stake in the project that it's going to be hard. Someone's going to lose money, you know, and they continue to reiterate the, this token has no value mantra that YFI uses, you know? So, you know, principle number one, there's no resets. Whenever you migrate a project, in my opinion, historically, it, it doesn't do well. It just never does well because you know, look at what happened with um, TronBet when they moved Anti to win. So many people lost so much capital. Tons and tons of capital was lost through dilution. So there's got to be some kind of dilution mechanism. Basically, people are going to lose money. So, you know, migrated pro projects, in my opinion, don't work. Now, how are they enticing you? Well, they're enticing you saying that the OG of YFI, the guy that created it, is giving a $25,000 grant to the project. Um, you know, name dropping, you know, that doesn't mean that the guy is going to be 100% involved in the project. Maybe he's an advisor, maybe he's not. But, you know, to me, it's kind of a red flag, you know. It's a migrated project. And personally, at this point, I would not be buying the safe token. And usually what happens with projects like this is someone else beats them to the market with the same concept um, on a fresh platform that's fair. But that brings us, you know, enough about safe token. This brings us to what um, safe token is doing for the yield farming industry, and that is creating shield farming. So we're probably going to see this um, terminology used moving forward in some of the new yield projects. What does shield farming mean? Shield farming means that game theory wise, they find some way to make sure that the people that are farming the token have a stake in the project other than just farming. Because that's the problem right now with all the farms is the whales move in and then they just smash it and sell it and on to the next one. You know, and the whales made knots in those in these first few projects. So they just go in and they wreck any project that's audited, you know, and you know that the funds are Safu, the whales just pile in and they crush it and they sell it as they farm it from a die pool or other low risk um, entity asset. So shield farming basically means they've got some kind of active stake in the project where if they sold, you know, it's gonna hurt their overall value. So this shield farming will be interesting 
and you know everything in crypto goes through seasons there's different seasons and I would say that the seasons of yield farming um, from the basic standpoint are over and we've kind of moved on to you know you're at about 50 60 percent APY on most projects that are legit which is great it's great um, you know again as I mentioned in other video you're not gonna get rich off that but you'll definitely earn some interest um, but the shield farming will be very interesting because it's going to give a lot of these projects a chance to grow. And that's really part of the problem with most of these projects is they're released, they dump, and then they never get a chance to grow and you can't recover from it uh, because the whale money. You know, I was thinking about this the other day and I was like, there's got to be a way to make the governance token farming more fair because you know you look at safe if you look at the wallets um i'll leave a link down on the ether scan to it there's mega wallets man mega wallets you can't keep up with that you know and you know that there's people that had an early advantage of some type or something and they populated these wallets and you'll never catch up to them and that's the thing it's a four or five hundred dollar token you have a lot of capital that you can lose instantly because there's so many wallets out there that can dump on your head but we'll see how this shield farming shield farming stuff goes and it'll be interesting to see um, what other projects pick up this concept and start to implement them to um, allow the project some organic chance to grow um, because anymore it's not enough just to have a low token count it's not enough to just be farming you have to have a project a product of some type um, which you know I thought that the, the, the safe idea was great but man I just wish it wouldn't have gotten so wrecked out of the get-go so um, yeah but anyways like subscribe hope you enjoyed today's video on shield farming and as always, this is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.